So my first example here is a patient, uh, Jane Peterson, just a test patient that I've brought up for us. This particular patient came in and visited the practice on the 3rd of June. However, on that particular day, unfortunately, the high caps terminal wasn't connecting to the computer correctly, which means the practice wasn't able to complete her health fund claim electronically. What the practice instead opted to do was put it through as an FPOS payment, as you can see here on her ledger, just so that something was entered in under her account rather than just leaving it blank as if she hadn't paid. So what I'm going to do today is show you how you can fix this one up because it is something that I've seen a fair few practices do if their high caps goes down for whatever reason. So in this particular situation, there's an FPOS payment of $110 uh, and the discount of $46, which was essentially the gap payment. If we jump over to the patient home overview, we can see that she's also sitting under the unattached procedures there, prompting us to create a claim for this particular treatment that was completed. And then going back over to the ledger as well, in the patient walkout, you, you'll also see here that when we go to create a claim area, it's sitting there waiting for us to create a claim as well. Now, you'll find that this particular patient does actually have um, a health fund linked. You can see by that green shield in the top left hand corner and if we click into there we can see that she's actually with a HCF. Uh, there's also just that yellow message at the top just saying that there's currently two procedures unattached. Perfect. So we'll go back to the ledger there and finally just want to also show you that if we click onto the item codes you can see here that there's a bill to third party is actually switched to on as well. Now this is because the patient does have a third party linked I'll just cancel out of there. Just wanted to show you that that is um, another consequence essentially of having the third party linked to the patient account is that that is set to on by default, which normally is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do to start this off is we actually essentially want to remove out the FPOS payment and enter in the manual claim um, for the high caps amount that was covered in this case, $110. So we'll go ahead and get started by first going into the FPOS payment and we're going to refund this out. So I'm doing that now and you can see that it's refunded there um, with the um, opposite amount of what was paid, which is exactly what we want. And you can see that it's showing there's $110 owing. If we go back to the patient walkout and then jump over to the create claims area, now we're actually going to go ahead and create this claim properly. So we'll hit that create claims button there in the bottom left. And then after we've done that, we're just going to close out of the patient walkout area back into the payment area in the top left hand corner. We just want to enter in that $110 payment, but for the type, we actually want to select e-claim payment electronic. So we actually did a manual one, so we'll tick the manual box and we'll just enter in how much was covered. In our case, it was $30 for the 012 and it was $80 for the 114. Um, and after that's been entered, we just want to go ahead and save that as well. So as you can see here, it's actually all entered incorrectly and it's got the e-claim payment lines as you would normally see if you were to do it electronically, but it's got the little manual in brackets there as well. Going back to the home screen as well, you can also see that she's no longer sitting there in the unattached procedures. There's just the one patient instead of the two and it's just a different patient sitting there, not um, Jane in our particular situation, which is exactly what we're hoping for.